So we just had our special thank you parents program. We drew pictures, wrote poems, sang songs, stuff like that to let our parents know how special they are to us. Doing something special was Jasper's idea, or whatever, but he also almost ruined it. I I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I can't do this right now. My dad texted me earlier that we might be moving to another state for his job. Mom and Dad and I have been trusting in Jesus together, but it's still been hard waiting to find out if we're going or staying. I think this is it. These are the chronicles of the Mooseberry Masterclass and the exceptional and very, very, very gifted students who attend, and also Alex. My parents found out if we're moving or not. They text me, but I'm too scared to look. Well, eventually you're gonna find out no matter what. Yeah, don't you have to go home at some point? It's where you keep all your stuff. It's not just that. I've been praying so hard that Jesus would let us stay. If I find out we have to move, does that mean Jesus isn't real? Or doesn't answer my prayers? That sounds like a foul ball to Ollie on the street. Yeah, that can't be right. Kablamo! It isn't right. God is real and he always answers prayers. Just sometimes the answer isn't what we want to hear. But here's something you do want to hear. Our lives are better when we love and share God. It doesn't matter where you are, you and your family can worship and talk about God. That's something you can do in any circumstance. I guess the Bible does tell us about a lot of people who share God's love in difficult situations. In prison, scary cities, in front of mean kings. I can do the same. No matter what this text says, me and my family can tell about Jesus' love. Well, do you get to stay? Do you have to leave? Not that I care, but what does the text say? It says we're staying. 